Hola, so we are continuing with our technology topic, but this time today we're going to be talking about technology in el pasado, so in the past. So we're going to learn to talk about when different technologies were introduced, do a bit of uh, speaking hopefully at home on your own, but um, our main objective is to be able to recap the imperfect tense so we can say what technology used to be like or what technology we used to use compared to now. So just to get our brains one back up into technology, have a look at the vocabulary down the bottom. Each of the infinitive verbs matches one of a noun it goes with. So for example, if it was a free time activity, nadar is to swim and then la natación is swim. Okay, um, so see if you can match those at pause and have a go at that. Just write them down or do it in your head or verbally. Okay, so here we've got our answers then. Navegar, we navegar el internet. We searched the internet. Descargar música, we download music. Chatear con amigos, we chat with friends. Ver videos, we watch videos. Mandar textos, we send texts. Okay, just another quick activity for us to get more vocabulary, uh, technology vocabulary back in our minds. What technology is this describing? It is a pequeño aparato que permite enviar y recibir llamadas. So you might not know what aparato is, but it's something that is pequeño, which permite, that looks more like permits. Do you remember what the verbs enviar and recibir are and what are llamadas? So what is that describing? Just say it. So a, a small, like apparatus, a small something, which permits you to send and receive calls, that would be el móvil, okay? Una programa para enviar y recibir cartas electrónicas. So now remember enviar and recibir. We are sending something and receiving electrónicas. What are cartas? So what would that be? So you are sending and receiving electronic letters. In other words, electronic mail, el correo electrónico, so email. Aplicaciones para publicar información personal y fotos de uno mismo como Facebook o Twitter. So, what are these aplicaciones? Just what's been described here. So, if you wait that it's social media or social networks, so las redes sociales. And finally, ordenador pequeño que se puede llevar de un sitio a otro. So, what is an ordenador? And it is pequeño. Se puede, remember that verb, you can, one can, llevar de un sitio a otro. From one place to another, this means. So a small computer you can take from one place to another. Un portátil is a laptop, okay? Un portátil. Okay, so, el imperfecto. ¿Cuándo utilizamos el imperfecto? When do we use the imperfect tense? So hopefully you remember that we use it to describe things that used to be or were happening. So when I was younger, I used to play outside instead of watching TV. Um, when I was younger, I used to not have a mobile phone, whatever it is. Um, or when I was, that's the imperfect tense as well, when I was younger. So it's things that you, we have the word used to or was in. So when we have to use the imperfect tense, not the preterite past tense. So to make the imperfect tense, you might remember these or recognise that ABBA sound now. So with AR verbs, we take off the AR ending of it. So if we were saying nadar, to swim, and I want to say I used to swim, it'd be nadaba. Then for the other verbs, ER and IR verbs, they use the same endings, they use the ears. So remember we're talking about looking for ears and ABBAs in for finding the imperfect tense and then they've got the similar sort of endings u verbs in any tense always have an s on the end to make the he she form we drop the s from the u we verbs always have a mos u plural always have is and they verbs always have an n so as long as you know the abba you can put the common ending with them then okay you have the imperfect tense in your grammar book so you do not need to write this out again but you might want to take a screenshot to remind yourself the rest of the lesson, or you can make a note of it again if you want, um, or you can get your grammar book set, okay? There are, of course, some irregulars. 
So this is the most important one to say something to be. So, so saying something was is era. So era means I was, it was, he was, or she was. So remember the era. And then I used to go was is iba. Oh, you used to go ibas and so on. And ber to see. So I used to watch TV. Beia. It's slightly different. So what it does with this one is it doesn't just drop the e and r. It only drops the r. But then you can see the endings. Are the same so the endings aren't different they just drop the R and with this one weirdly it uses the ABBA with the I from the IR verb okay and then this one is completely irregular okay what I want you to do now then is practice sit using some of the imperfect tense so we used to play on our Nintendo Game Boy when we were younger he used to talk with his friends on the phone and so on okay so you do not need to translate the word used on its own that's a mistake lots of people make they think they ask me miss how you how do you say used to but used to is part of this verb so if you're going to say play what is to play tell me what's to play so if you said juego that is i play jugar with the ar ending is to play j-u-g-a-r jugar okay so to make that we used to play I need to drop the AR from the jugar, which leading with hook. If it was I used to play, it'd be jugaba. You used to play, jugabas. So we used to play is jugabamos. And this is I, you, he, she, we, you, plural, they. So jugabamos is we used to play. That one word means all of that in English. Okay, we used to play is jugabamos. Okay, and then see if you can finish the rest. So the infinitive for this one, to talk, is hablar. So that one word in Spanish is going to mean he used to talk because the ending here is the used to part, okay? She used to play, so jugar again. Escuchar is to listen. And watch, remember, is the regular, ver. Okay, so have a go at those, pause, and then when you're ready to come back and check them, let's have a look. Okay, so number one then, jugábamos con nuestros Nintendo Game Boys. Now, you might not have known nuestros, or you might not have remembered it, rather, from when we did family, when we talked about possession. Um, so, it's nuestro for anything singular, nuestros for plural. He used to talk, hablar is to talk, so I need to take off that AR and add the he, she ending, hablaba, por teléfono con sus amigos, with his friends, sus amigos. She used to play tennis, jugaba al tenis. Remember when we hit play, we always have al. You always say juego al fútbol and so on. They used to listen, escuchaban. They've got to have the N ending. La música en tu... Now, you probably wouldn't have known this. Um, so you can just put iPod, that's fine. Okay? And you used to watch Teletubbies. Veías Teletubbies. So that's the irregular there. Okay? Fantastico. Right, a little bit of um, information for you here. We're going to make some sentences. I want you to guess when all of these things were first invented, okay? Um, so when was a tape invented? When was the first mobile phone? This isn't actually what the first mobile phone used to look like. They used to be huge with no screen um, and they'd come in a big uh, briefcase. Um, I don't know if you've ever seen one of those. It didn't really become this size until a lot longer, maybe like 15 years ago or so, um, or actually later. So see if you can guess, first of all, when all of these things were made. So pause and have a guess, and then we're going to make some sentences about them. Okay, so uh, let's show you then when each thing was made. So 1950s was Hoover and Fridge Freezers, or Vacuum, I should say, Hoover's a brand. In the 60s were cassettes. I don't know if any of you have ever listen to any music on a cassette. Uh, the 70s was a cassette Walkman, the player, the portable player, so you didn't have to have it on at home. Uh, microwave and video player. 1980s was the first phone, like I say, it didn't look like that, and satellite TV. 1990s then became CDs, and in the 2000s is when you had music on a MP3 device and later on that became a phone, didn't it? Okay. 
So what I'd like you to do is make some sentences to say when a few of these things were created. So you've got an example here. El internet, the internet, was invented. Fue inventado durante los años 80. So during the 80s. The first websites, los prim primeros sitios web, fueron creados, were created in 1991. 1991. Okay, so what you're going to do is make some sentences. If you were saying CDs were invented, because this is plural, or you might say the CD was invented, it's going to depend whether or not you use fue or fueron. So if you're talking about something singular, so if I said the CD was invented, I'd say el CD fue inventado durante los años 90. Okay, or I could have said los CDs, instead of el CD, los CDs, plural, fueron inventados o creados en los años 90, okay, in the 90s. Uh, the word for, uh, you could also put decade, okay, um, you could, I suppose you don't need to talk about century here, we're all in the same century for most of it. Okay, uh, what hence is fue and fueron in? Now, it's possible that you said imperfect because that's what we've been recapping. But can you see an ABBA or IA here? No, we can't, can we? And although I'm saying was and were, and previously said normally if there is a was or were, it's imperfect. When it's something that happened once as a one-off, so the CD wasn't invented multiple times during the 80s, or 90s rather. It was invented once, it, ha it happened once. Then it's the preterite tense, and this is that irregular, remember, from the preterite tense, which means was, okay? So that's why we're not saying el internet era inventado, because it wasn't invented several times, okay? Um, or over a very, very long period of time. It's happened once, okay? So make a few sentences um, about those, and I'll have a check of those when you submit them. So you could just do three or four when to say the phone was invented or fridge, whatever you prefer. You might need to look up one or two extra words because we don't bother talking about cassettes in Spanish now, do we? Okay. Okay. So now let's have a look at this imperfect tense in context. Have a skim read of this and it's also in a Word document for you um, so that you can have a copy of it uh, if you need to use that, okay? So you've had a little skim read and hopefully you've started to spot that there are two main tenses in here because we can see some er and aba endings and then later on we move to where there's not er and aba endings. There's obviously talk about technology in here because you've got Game Boy, Facebook, MB3 um, and hopefully you start to see where it separates from imperfect to per present. So what I'd like you to do first of all is to find all the imperfect tense verbs and then find all the presents. So if you're working online, you could simply highlight them or draw boxes around them. If you're working your book, you don't need to write out the whole thing. You can just put, um, just list them, okay? Or if you're able to print, then you can, but there's no pressure to. So do those two first of all. Okay, so let's find all the imperfect tenses then. So we've got era, usaba, jugaba, tenía, Reglaron, me encantaba, jugaba, podía. So, me, reglaron isn't actually imperfect. I've highlighted it there. It's a, it's a past tense, but it's not actually imperfect. But it is in the past, so just to distinguish between that and the present there. But it hasn't got the aba or era, or, or ia, sorry, and there's our regular. So, it's not imperfect, but it is a past. Okay, the present tense then. In all of these, so I've got me, my, my name is, and this one is part of a, a phrase to say that is to say, um, and then this is where we switch then hoy en día nowadays to where she talks about what she uses technology for, what she thinks about technology in the present. So you've got a contrast between what she used to use technology for, what it used to be like, and now. Have a go now then at answering these questions here. So what did she do for entertainment? instead of using technology when she was younger. She doesn't say for entertainment, but you need to have a look. She said about, she says, no usaba mucho la tecnología. So she didn't use technology much. 
Um, so what did she do instead? Okay. And then how old was she? So somebody's given here a con. I've given you a hint to number three, but the verb you need to look for. What does she love using technology most for now? Number four. So again, she might not necessarily say I love. We need to be careful. She could do, but be careful in exams, the wording from the question to the text. Okay. Why does she feel alone? So things are going in order. So if you're not sure of the word alone, have a look at between four and six and see if you can find somewhere where that's something that implies something negative. OK, and then what does she say about herself in the last sentence? Uh, Soy una chica del siglo XXI. OK, what's she saying here? Um, see if you can work that out there. You might need to look up siglo. OK. So answer those questions in your book or on paper, or on Word. Okay, let's check those then. So she played with her friends in the park, jugaba con mis amigos en el parque, or she went to the dance club, or and she went to. She was nine, so, but when tenía nueve años, when I had nine years, when I used to have, because you don't have nine years, it's one minute, it's for a long period of time. Uh, nine years, my parents gave me a Game Boy. How often did she play on it? She said, I love technology. From then on, I love technology. I played with my Game Boy always when I could. So podía is the imperfect of poder, to be able to. So whenever I was able to. She loves it most now for chatting with friends on Instagram, and loves downloading music. She feels alone, me siento sola, so, so look, 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 it's a bit like being solo, single, I feel alone because I don't see my friends much face to face, or don't I really see my friends a lot face to face, and this means I am a girl of the 21st century, 21, 21, siglo means century, okay, fantastic, I should mark that. Now what you're going to do is translate as much of this as you can, now, I've just went over loads of it, and I explained what lots of it said. So you might feel confident to translate all of it. Or perhaps if you're feeling it's a bit tricky and there's a lot there, you might just want to translate one half of it. Maybe start with the present tense half. And then later on, maybe have a go at the imperfect. You have got a triple lesson, but we all work at different speeds. So you do as much as you feel you can. Okay. When you're ready, then the English is all here. So if you're going to try and do more later, don't check it all now because you will see the whole translation. So here's the English for you to check. OK, um, so pause and check yours to compare. Right. What you're going to do now is going to write your own version of Sandra's text as a template. OK, so I want you to focus on your imperfect tense in particular. We have talked about what we use technology for now. In previous lessons so that's not the part I want you to focus on but I want you to focus on using the imperfect tense so saying something like when I was younger like what was it like for you okay how when did you get a computer in your house I used to play computer from whatever age it might be that you did have a console quite young it might be that you did have a mobile quite young or it might be that you didn't have a mobile till you were a teen whatever it is okay so talk about what it used to be like for you and then try and make a comparison to now so I used to use technology less, more, whatever it is, okay? So it doesn't have to be as long, but as long as you have included lots of examples of the imperfect tense. So that verb has in an abba or ia, remember, okay? Right. Once you have done that, then you can move on to the next reading. So we're going to do a gap fill now. So you've got a text in uh, the word the word documents and the same one that the other's on and you can see there's three paragraphs and there's words missing so what you need to do is read his text and see if you can work out where the words would be in the text okay so have a look at the words first of all from the box look at the words that are missing check you know what all of those mean and then think about the grammar before um gaps okay so things like you've got the word my before this. So you're not going to have a verb after that. That wouldn't make sense. You're not going to have an adjective unless there is a noun. And nouns usually come before adjectives in Spanish. So there's obviously going to be a noun. There's an object that you can own. So then you would need to go further back to have a look. So utilizo, got an I verb. I use my something todos los días. So it tells me when. 
para hacer los deberes del colegio y también para something. So somebody uses, this person, Pedro, uses something every day to do this and also to do this. And there's a verb missing here because we've got para plus a verb, haven't we? Para hacer, in order to do, in order to something, correos electrónicos, okay? I've given you one here to give you a help. So um, he thinks it's más rápido que. It's more fast than. Okay, so have a go at that gap fill and then come back to it, uh, to the video to check your answers. We'll go through the first two so that, and then we'll, we'll split it up so you can see um, which words might be left over if you're struggling with some of the other gaps later on. Okay, so here are the first two gaps, portatil. So I use my laptop every day to do homework for school and also send uh, emails, correos electrónicos, to my teachers because it's much faster than waiting until the next day, hasta el día siguiente, okay? So if you haven't had a go at these, now you know that these two of the words that you're not going to use, so have a go at this part, and otherwise if you're ready, continue and check the answers. So also I use the laptop to do las compras in páginas web. We know it's shopping because it mentions about Amazon here, because it is more something than products in shops. So what might it be? Well, often it's cheaper, it's más barato, okay? Again, if you're not sure about some of these, now you've had a couple of words taken out, so you might want to have a go at these parts. So during the day, I use my mobile all the time when, now tengo que enviar, tengo que, is I have to. So I have to send something or photos. So what might you be sending to your friends? Let me see you got. So mensajes, sending messages to my friends. I also like to be informed of life of my something. So who's lives would you be keeping up with and there's got to be a plural word that you can put with possession my plural something amigos okay then hoy en día nowadays cds are so because we've got something plural and i'm describing cds are i'm going to likely need an adjective but it's definitely going to need to be a plural word here because cds are okay so carros expensive because i need the s there is expensive and then we've got here, so about buying music on iTunes or Google Play. Ya que is another way to say porque because it's más barato, it's more cheap and only something, las canciones. So this is a bit trickier here because you haven't got necessarily a thing to imply whether it's adjective or so on. So it might be that by process of elimination, you were able to work out this cargo. So solo means only but we put it before the verb, I only download, so only I download songs I like. And then in school, ya no tenemos libros de texto, in school we no longer have textbooks, sin ok, now you might not have been aware of sin ok, it's, it means like instead of, or um, instead we, so it's instead we have all books are digital, okay. Okay, so fantastic. Make sure you uh, upload all of that to Moodle. And then uh, if you completed all of that and you're 100% up to date, now I've only had from a handful of people the answers to your free time uh, topic pages from your booklet. So I would like to see those because we're shortly going to be doing the media pages from your booklet. and. Um, you might end up being two booklet sections behind. So if you have not done those booklet questions, please go back and complete them. Um, if you're not sure, it's in the very first lesson we did after Christmas. Um, and then if you have, then there is an extension. If you have done that, there's an extension task after this video. Okay, muy bien.